This is the room where it happened, the long-awaited debut of Hamilton in Puerto Rico. Almost 16 months after Hurricane Maria slammed into this island, it was a night of celebration and triumph. It was an ovation like none other. Cathartic after so much pain. The ultimate tribute to Puerto Rico's resiliency. I'm in awe. I'm in awe of the people of Puerto Rico. I wish I could live in that <laughs> opening number forever. I just love this island so much and I just want us to be proud of me. Hurricane Maria ravaged Puerto Rico, crippling its power grid, flooding communities, and leaving so many Americans without clean water. Sends a big message, a big lighthouse to say, Puerto Rico is open, Puerto Rico is a place that America needs to keep supporting. The Tony Award-winning show in rehearsals for months is raising money to help promote the arts in Puerto Rico. This time it's personal. You know okay, what I mean? Like, yeah. like he's right. bringing this here. This is about, you know, Lynn and what this island has um, meant to him and his family's life. Alexander Hamilton himself was born on a Caribbean island and found his calling after a devastating hurricane. The parallels not lost on the diehard fans who score tickets to opening night. This will be the 58th time yes. you've seen Hamilton. And I love it every single time, and it's always so different for me, and I enjoy it just as much every time. 58 shows. Wow, I thought I was a fan. Now, Hamilton will continue its run here for three weeks. You might be asking how much are tickets? Well, some were given out to local residents for $10 each, but the special VIP tickets, Dylan, a cool five grand. Wow. <laughs> to you. Totally worth it, though, right? From everyone. Indeed. Christina, <laughs> Gabe, thank you so much.